your meter base is burned up and now you have no power. Alright, we have one meter can that is completely burned up, and we need to put a new one in. But first, let's stop and talk about how we got here real quick. I know, people hate smart meters, but in this case, it was a good thing. Because they can also contact the power company when there is an electrical problem, such as this. And the power company came out, observed the problem, removed the power from the home and told her to contact an electrician. And I know a lot of people are skeptical about the smart meters. Trust me, folks, this is good because the alternative could have been this, which could have been a lot worse, as you can see. Now, moving forward, we're going to have to rebuild our entire service, the mass pipe through the roof, update the grounding system, and we're going to wind up giving her a 200 amp service. But I did want to state that, you know, this is a regular meter. And this is a smart meter. The smart meters are better, folks. They do a variety more than an old meter did. They save the cost of a meter reader, which that's where we're supposed to get our discount on our power bill for. And it's supposed to alert the power company when there is an electrical fault. The inspections are done and our power's back on. This typical project only takes one day to do. We try to keep the uh, power being off as short as possible. Um, but other than that, she's good to go again. And if this is something you want to take on yourself, I would strongly advise you reach out to a licensed professional. You would be surprised at how many codes may be required in this project, such as this job required all the smoke detectors to be updated because it was a local ordinance. And always be safe. If you like this video, please give us a like. And subscribe for more content coming forward on electrical safety and how-to projects. Bye for now.